Okay, for breakfast this morning, good morning, I'm doing um, a banana smoothie, which is something I commonly have for breakfast. This is just three cups of water and a couple of frozen bananas. And I'm going to add, I, I see this a lot on, on YouTube, it's a PB2, this one has chocolate in it, and it's vegan, and it's got a gram of fat, so I'm going to add a serving of that, two tablespoons, and just try it. And I'm going to add these three, these are very large bananas in there as well. Okay, so here it is. Uh, I just tasted it. It doesn't taste chocolatey at, chocolatey at all. I can taste the peanut butter. It's nice. It's some. It's, it's nice for something different. You kind of get tired of the same old thing all the time. So I just like to pour my smoothies in these um, leftover jars. I like to buy the Lakewood juices and the. Ooh, sometimes it fits perfectly, but I got to drink that out of the out of the pitcher. Okay, that's it for breakfast. So for lunch today, I had a leftover vegetable sushi roll. I forgot to film it, but it was really good. But probably not enough to keep me full for the rest of the day. So I have, this is Ezekiel um, raisin toast with some uh, peanut butter and bananas. And which is really good. This is something I probably wouldn't have eaten um, back when I was a meat eater. I wouldn't have really enjoyed the flavors of it. But it's actually really, really delicious to me now. The crunch from the... Um, the bread and the, the fat in the peanut butter and the sweet from the banana is just a really wonderful combination. Uh, so I just finished lunch and it was pretty good. Um, I don't normally have the, that toast with the peanut butter and the bananas. That's something I don't eat every day for lunch. Um, but it's a good staple to keep on hand for days when I am too busy to make lunch or I didn't bring lunch. And that way I have something to eat. And it's, it was really enjoyable. Probably not as much food as I'm uh, used to eating, but I had the sushi and then the two pieces of toast with the peanut butter and the banana. So I feel pretty satisfied, but I will probably make up for it tonight at dinner. So what I'm doing here is I, my plan is to do a 30 day vlog uh, because I am starting Zumba tomorrow. And I'm really excited about that because about a year ago, well, it's been, it was last summer, I was riding my bike to work every day and my fitness levels were improving and I was really happy with what was happening with my fitness, just the strength I was gaining, the endurance and all of those things. And then I fell in, I was in an accident, broke my collarbone. And so I haven't been on my bike since and I was uh, really doing well at consistently practicing my yoga at that time too. So I haven't been doing that either. Um, I've been doing my workouts. Uh, you know, I work out on the treadmill, on the stationary bike, elliptical trainer, those sorts of things. Uh, pretty much five days a week, really consistent, but they're really moderate, really light workouts, really. I don't really push myself. I barely break a sweat. I do it on my lunch break. So um, I'm wanting to get back to something a little bit more challenging, and I love to dance. I don't dance. I haven't danced in a long time, but I love to dance. Um, when I was little, you know, I took dance lessons, and I was a cheerleader in high school, and I always loved to dance, and I used to love going to clubs and just dancing all night long. Um, but now I find that when no one's looking and a fun song comes on and I find myself dancing, I'm lucky if I can make it through one song and then I'm pooped. So, um, that's not cool. I mean, I, I think I'm too young to be feeling pooped after dancing to one song. So I think Zumba is really going to be something that I personally am going to enjoy. It's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to really get my fitness levels back up to where I I would really love for them to be. And Zumba, well, something like this is something I would have not even have attempted to try back when I was a meat eater because I wouldn't have had the energy for it. And I, and I know that because I've tried in the past to commit to some type of exercise and I just haven't been able to do it because I just didn't have the energy. Now I know that I've got all the energy I need to be able to do a class like this. Um, in the old days, the idea of going straight from work to an exercise class, don't even bother considering it because it ain't gonna happen. Now I know that I can do eight, nine hours of work and go directly to a Zumba class and I will have the energy because I'm feeding my cells the energy that they require. So I'm really excited about that. And I'm really looking forward to it. I thought I'd do a 30 day vlog um, just to track how I'm doing um, in, with the Zumba. It's gonna be hard at first, I know, because um, I'm really, not really in shape when it comes to you know dancing and moving and that kind of thing um 
track. I thought I would track what I eat in 30 days as well. That's something I've never done before and track my weight and just see how it goes. So I'm really looking forward to it. I think that's it. I've got my water here. I just wanted to mention that um, my habit that I try to stick with is, you know, I, I almost always do a smoothie in the morning and then I fill this when I'm done with water and try to drink that between breakfast and lunch. And then after lunch, I try to do the same. So I try to get two of these in a day. That's always my goal. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Say that again. What's for dinner? It's lentils <laughs> with roasted kaboko squash and curry, spinach, plum tomatoes, lemongrass, ginger, and curry powder. Yum. Looks delicious. Are we going to eat it with rice? No, it's like a stew. Oh, it's a stew. Yeah. Mm -hmm.